All right, we're at the Gulfport Goodwill Mega Store, largest Goodwill in the Southeast. I'm with Victoria from Super Geeked. <laughs> Let's see what we can find. Okay, so here's Madewell, which is, you know, obviously a great brand, but it's just really plain. So, and I'm gonna show you how big this place is. There's Victoria right there. Look at how huge. So, yeah, I'm not finding much right now. Okay, so this is obviously vintage. You can tell by the tag here. I don't really sell vintage, but I may get it to show to Victoria. Okay, look at this cat blazer. It's super dirty, but how cute is that? I would get these paid shorts, but they have a couple marks on them, so I think I'm gonna skip on these. Okay, here's the free people. And I usually pass on free people unless I love it. And this kind of has a small stain also on one of the sleeves. So I think I'm going to leave it. But free people thermals, they do pretty well. This is kind of a cute pink shirt, but it has a lot of pilling. So I may leave this behind. This windbreaker set is so colorful and it's vintage. But comps don't look super great. I only found one good comp on this one. I like threw this on the ground and screamed like a girl. Did you I knew hear exactly me? What it was when you threw it. <laughs> and then I saw it. Oh my gosh, you know it's in oh, here. Where it goes, where, 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 where? Oh, gross. Oh. Okay, we are back from thrifting at the largest Goodwill in the entire Southeast in Gulfport, Mississippi. My friend Victoria, she's also going to be uploading her thrift with me and thrift haul. I'm going to leave her video link in my description box. Y'all make sure to go over and show Victoria some love. I'm going to jump right into my thrift haul. I am also going to share my big ultimate fail. If you're looking for like a perfect reseller, this ain't it. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up to flip for some money and what I picked up that's going to bring me zero dollars, just stay tuned. Okay, first item I want to share is a Nike ACG piece. So I've never picked up this Nike ACG. I'll tell you what it stands for, All Conditions Gear. Here's the tag. And um, I do love to pick up Nike, and I also love to pick up like special Nike brands. I talked about picking up Porsche Adidas pieces in my last uh, What Sold video. And whenever I was flipping through the rack and I saw this ACG on the sleeve, I felt like I should look it up, and I'm glad I did. Most of these shirts are selling $30 and up. So, yeah, I love the color orange. I have great luck with Nike. It's just a Nike long sleeve. I want to say I put this up for like $35 or something. But yeah, sold comps seem to look good. So I've never picked up this ACG, but they seem to sell well. So I'm excited to try it out. I shared this on TikTok and I've already had people interested in it. So I'm sure it's going to go quick. So this is a guess and I'll tell you the size. It says it's a size medium, but y'all, this looks a little big to me. I would say if you're a size large, you more than likely could fit this too. So it has these big thick guest straps and it also has a cutout right here. I'm really excited about this guest bodysuit. I thought it was really cute. I think I just have it up for 25 bucks, but like I said, I've already had interest just from one TikTok video, so I'm sure it'll go quick. Here's a brand I pick up sometimes just depending on what it is. It's Lafayette 148 and I picked this up for several reasons. One, it was half off. I only paid, I think she only charged me I think she charged me $1.85 for this. I don't think she marked it as like a jacket or blazer. I think she marked this as just a t-shirt or something, which thank you, like that's cool with me. But it's a linen, y'all know, if you've been watching my videos, I'm picking up a ton of linen. It's selling so well for me right now. But it's just a blue open front, just like a denim blazer. Uh, it does have real pockets. And it's in excellent condition. I didn't see any holes. So these blazers seem to sell really well, around 40 bucks. So I was really excited to get this for less than two bucks. Y'all have told me that you like to see what I buy for myself. So I just got this top. I'm sure you'll see it in a video. I really liked the sleeves and I love the smocking here. If you're a reseller, you see this stretchy material here. 
That's called smocking, and it's definitely, I buy a lot on eBay and Poshmark. That is a search term I love, love, love to use. Because I'm so petite, but I'm also curvy, um, smocking, it just fits me beautifully. So yeah, I just thought this was a super cute little crop top. So I don't pick up everything anthropology, but I saw this blouse, and I thought I would wear that, so I got it. So it's kind of hard to tell because it's on the hanger, but it's off the shoulder. I'll tell you, it's Diletta. And you can always tell something's anthropology if you're new to reselling. This is definitely something you want to know. You want to go inside to that care tag, and you want to go to that RN number, and it's 66170. If There's so many brands that Anthropology carries that it's almost impossible to know. Like, seriously, it's probably impossible to know every single brand. So I had heard of Diletta. I had never picked it up. I had never found it. Uh, but as soon as I looked at the care tag, I knew it was Anthropology, and I just really enjoyed the style. Um, it's off the shoulder. It is see-through. You have to wear like something underneath it. And I absolutely love the sleeves. Y'all know I'm like a sleeve person. I'm rocking, I'm rocking my puffy sleeve today for my short story box. And yeah, I just thought this was a really pretty top. So I got it. I think I listed this for about $30. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really adorable. So this is one of my favorite brands to sell. And it's Athleta. And this is a, now this is a 2XS, extra, extra small, which I know some people, um, at least from what I hear on other YouTube thrift hauls, don't pick up to resell because they seem like they think it's too small of a size. But I've had luck, if you're picking up good pieces, I've still had luck moving them. So I pick up all sizes. And this piece is gorgeous. This, I forgot the name of the exact, um, like, I forgot the style name of this. But most of them are selling between 30 and 40 bucks, and I just thought it was a really, really pretty little pullover, and it's in great condition. I didn't see any flaws, so I definitely picked this up. I have made a Bolo brand list, and I feel like I need to add Athleta to it. I don't pick it up all the time, though, but Athleta does make some really nice pieces, y'all, that do sell for a good amount of money. Like I said, I think this one I have up for 40 bucks, but yeah, really cute. Super excited to find that. So while I was in the men's section, I of course looked at the denim because men's denim does very well for me. And I saw a Madewell tag and I was like, are these men's? And they are not. They are women's, but they were accidentally put in the men's section. These are called the dad jean and they're a size 33. They're an absolute great size. I think I have these up for 50 bucks. I really like to pick up Madewell. If you see it out, definitely give it a shot because it can sell really well. Okay, so I just sold this item last night. So I'm gonna package it up right after the video, but I had to show it to you because this is gonna be a brand I'm gonna put on my Bolo brand list for sure on part two. And it is Athco. And these are just a pair of blue shorts. And this is a brand I find a ton of here in my area in South Mississippi. A lot of guys take these out on the beach. They take them boating, fishing. I live in a coastal area. We wear a lot of outdoors type of clothing. So AFCO, I find it very regularly. If you find it at your thrift store, pick it up. I've never sat on these AFCO shorts except one pair. I picked up one pair and I think what it was was the length. A lot of guys who like these AFCO shorts, they like these five inch inseams. That's a great thing to put in your title. And the shorts that are not, the only pair, the one pair that has not sold for me very quickly was like, it was like a knee length pair. It was like a 10 inch inseam. And they were also black with like prints and stuff on them. From my experience and just from knowing people where I live, they like the short end seam in a plain color, and blue's always a great color to pick up. So yes, if you see AFCO, get it. Okay, here's an item that is so easily missed at thrift stores. I mean, even seasoned resellers would probably pass this up. So this is by a brand called Dry Fire, and it's just a plain green long sleeve shirt in a size small. 
doesn't look like anything special, but it is special. Dry Fire is a fire resistant company. They make fire resistant clothing. You can also use fire retardant clothing. I've also seen that in some titles and I've played around with using that word as well in my descriptions. And these are just basic layering pieces that people need. My fire resistant clothing usually sells between $40 and $50. I have this listed at $40. They are selling between $30 and $40 on eBay. So yeah, this is just one of those items that you can easily pick up at your men's. It's usually like by like where the pajamas and boxers are. You can find basic layering pieces like this. Even like the leggings, the underwear, they still sell for $40, $50. Bucks. So yeah, keep out an eye out for dry fire or anything that says fire resistant. It sells very well, at least on eBay. So I got this sweater for several reasons. It's a size extra large. It's soft. It's fuzzy. It's cute. It's wool. There's no damage to it. No flaws. And yeah, I think this is going to be a really good seller. I've done well with polka dots. What about you? Do you pick up polka dot items? Yeah, I was really excited to find this at the thrift store. I've sold some moth pieces before, uh, but definitely, like I've said, whenever I see an anthropology piece, I'm really picky about whether or not I want to pick it up. But Moth is definitely a brand I have had great luck with. Okay, let's jump into some shoes. So this is a brand called Teva. You'll see the Teva there. And then you'll also see it on the back. And as you can see, these were $9.99, and I got them not only because Teva sells, but let me show you the size on these. Y'all, these are a size 16. So how many size 16 Tevas are on eBay? Not a lot. So I thought, you know what, even though this is $10, and y'all know I like to keep my cost of goods really, really low. I usually never pay $5 for almost anything, but I paid $10 for these because I'm really confident that they will sell. It's also the great, or it's a great season to list them at because people are gonna be going outdoors, hiking, doing more walking, and just want some nice, comfortable shoes. So, and these are in great condition. They're not really tore up. So I thought that was a great find. Okay, funny story. I got these Danskos for 29 cents. So they were marked for $6.99. And I love them. I was like, these are so unique. Look at that. How fun are these? And I've had great luck with the dance go in the past. So I, you know, they were $6.99. And I was like, you know what? I'll pay $7 for these. I think I can for sure make some money on them. So I get up to the register and I realize I didn't do the dance go check. Do you know what the dance go check is? When you get dance goes, you want to do this. Okay, you want to pull it apart because this rubber piece here, it cracks a lot. So I got up to the register. I was literally about to pay $6.99 for these and I did that and I saw the crack. So I told the cashier, I said, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to change my mind on these because I see that crack on them. And the manager was right there and he was like, just throw them away. And I turned to him and I was like, wait, 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 if you're going to throw them away, can I have them? Like, I mean, because I would resell these as flawed, you know? And he was like, hey, I can't give them to you for free, but how about a dollar? And I was like, eh, y'all know. Y'all know I've been in the reselling game for a little bit of time. So I was like, I don't know about a dollar. He's like, 50 cents. And I was like, I don't know. And he was like, 29 cents and it's yours. And I said, you got a deal. So I'm just going to sell these for uh, probably a cheap amount and just disclose that. I'm sure you probably can fix it. I'm just not I'm just not going to. Let's keep it real here. Uh, but yeah, I got some dance goes for 29 cents, and I thought they were kind of cute, so I'm, I'm happy with them. Would y'all have done that? Would y'all have bartered at Goodwill? It's not my first time. So after I got done thrift shopping with Victoria, about a day later, I went back to a thrift store and I got some more things, so I'm just going to include them now in this thrift haul. This is my first time ever finding this brand, Vivian Westwood, and this is like a Melissa collaboration. Y'all know those Melissa jelly shoes? It's kind of like that. And these are a pair of silver. They're a size 36, just a ballet flat. And y'all, I can't even see the writing. Goodwill wrote the writing on these, and you literally, there's just so much stuff going on back here uh, that the guy at the register couldn't read 
couldn't read the price. So he gave these to me for $2.99, which I was like, that's a great deal. Some of these were selling like $30, $40. And Vivian Westwood, yeah, she's made some really expensive shoes, like a lot of used shoes. I saw a lot of them going for like 50 bucks and up. But yeah, this style, I think more like maybe 30 to 40 is what I think I'll be able to get for them. Uh, they are in excellent condition though. So I'm just excited to try out a new brand. I see Ralph Lauren all the time and I don't pick it up every single time I see it, but this piece was really special. So this is a Polo Golf. And you always want to read, like this may not look special, okay? Whenever you're looking at it on the rack, it may not look special. But if you read right here on the tag, it says, Made in Peru of Italian yarn. Then if you look down here, it's alpaca. So whenever you can put Italian yarn, alpaca, those are all great words to use in your titles and descriptions. It's a definitely a higher quality. So this is just a black sweatshirt, just like a pullover. The only flaw, and I don't even know if you can see it, there's like some extra white stitching in a couple areas. I don't know. Whenever I was taking pictures, it looked way worse than it does here on camera. Like I said, I wouldn't say it's a flaw. It's just like extra white stitching it looks like. Anyway, I was super excited to get this, and I think I have this listed for 50 bucks. I am picky with what I pick up from this brand. This is Eileen Fisher, and I usually like to pick up her larger sizes and her linen pieces. Those do the best for me, and I usually get between like 25 to 40 for them. And I saw this. This is a new with tag, and it's organic linen. And it's a beautiful orange short sleeve blouse in a size large, no flaws, absolutely gorgeous, my favorite color. And yeah, I have this listed, I think, for $49.99. I was looking at basic organic linen, new with tag Eileen Fisher sold. There's a ton between $40 and $50. So I was super excited to find this. Here's a brand I only buy if it's either gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous, or if it's new with tags. It's BCBG, and this is new with tags. And at first I thought this was a dress, but it's not. It's a top, and it kind of like splits at the bottom. And I guess this color, it's kind of like a, it's like a gray purple, but it's a wrap top, and it has this lace here. It has like a lingerie robe look to it, which is definitely on trend and it's brand new and in like new condition and i didn't see but maybe one other in the same size online and i want to say i listed mine i want to say i listed this for 40 bucks or 45 dollars something something in that price probably 40. and yeah i've already gotten some attention and questions about it so yeah like i said bcbg don't really pick it up unless it's new with tags, but every new with tag BCBG that I found, and I feel like I find a lot of it in my area for whatever reason, sells quickly for me. Okay, so I got these jeans, and these are by Liverpool, and I was super excited to find these because these are actually in my stock or in my size, and I was thinking about keeping them for myself. They're just a pair of really cool pants. I would say these are in like new condition. I don't think someone actually wore these. They're a high rise. The only thing y'all know, if you've seen any of my like try on videos, I hate a cuff. And I didn't realize that this is a sewn in cuff, so I can't take the cuff out. So anyway, when I got home, I was like, okay, yeah, I'm definitely gonna sell these. These were half off. I think I only paid $3.50 for these or maybe even less, maybe $3.25, something like that. Uh, but yeah, these are really, really popular. They're actually still on the Liverpool website, but whenever you go to buy them, I think these are $80 new on the website. And then whenever you go to purchase it, it says limited stock. So I did price mine, I believe at $40. So almost half off of what they're asking. And um, yeah, I think once they run out of stock and someone wants to find these, these are in great, great condition. I think someone's gonna love these. I think they'll go pretty quick. Here's a new to me brand. It's Corey Lynn Coulter. Corey Lynn Coulter. Have you guys ever heard of that? I don't know. 
This is just a gorgeous skirt. It's a silk skirt. Some people were putting anthropology in the title. I'll, I'll show you the care tag. I don't know if this is anthropology, but it's a silk skirt and it has owls on it. How adorable is this? I think it'll definitely sell. Um, yeah, a lot of people put anthropology in the title and it could be. Um, I don't see an RN number on this at all, but look at this tag. It looks old, right? Like this looks kind of vintage. I don't know. I just thought it was really cute, so I definitely purchased it. Are y'all ready to see my big ol' fail? Victoria may have, I think she may have filmed me purchasing this. I didn't film a lot in the thrift store because my husband called me. Y'all, he won a big green egg. He won the green egg. He won the stand. He won the charcoal. It was a $1,200 value. Long story short, Brandon was just at somewhere that was doing a couple giveaways, and he randomly entered it and immediately won. So while I was like thrifting, I was like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. And I was on the phone with him. Anyway, because of that, I failed to research this. And I was so excited when I found it because I saw, okay, so I saw this on an end cap, okay, at the thrift store. Okay, a bathing ape. Now, a bathing ape or bape. And so many people get mad when I say a bathing ape. But that's literally like, I'm trying to help you guys out so when you see it, like, that's what you're looking for. I got trashed by 10 year olds on TikTok, or maybe they weren't 10, I don't know. But I posted a TikTok as soon as I found this and I was like, oh my gosh, look what I found at the thrift store. And people were like, fake, fake. Okay, this is gonna be a learning experience. I only paid $5.99 for this, no big deal. So one of the biggest things that people were saying this face here there's a website actually that you can go on to and it'll tell you like fake from real i went on that website and literally everything checked off as fake but definitely the face you want the face to be colored in it'll be like a tan color uh and then this tag here apparently is fake so, okay this is a great example so you see how this face oh, i'm not even showing you right you see how that is like yellow color apparently the real one would be that color also in the tag there's so many things you can look for i'm just telling you this because if you find a real one like if you found a real one of these with a tag it could be worth 300 dollars. okay that's why i was excited i was like i got a 300 dollars piece no girl no girl you got a fake is what you got but yeah there's so many things you can look at the tag uh this looks almost identical to the real tag uh, it's just a couple things like you see the face isn't colored in um, the text is a little different there's a couple little things you can go on the website to determine whether you got a real bape or not and I don't even know if that's how you pronounce it people on TikTok were just trashing this thing over and over but I wanted to show it to you just in case you find a bathing ape definitely just Google is my bathing ape real and the website will come up and it will show you because when you go to like eBay and you look at similar sold comps with like the, almost the exact same tag, almost the exact same everything on here. It even has the arm thing. This is, I thought it was real for sure because of this, but apparently no, it's, it's still not. Anyway, it was white, no flaws. I bought this for $5.99. Y'all, if, if one of my viewers wants it, will you please reach out to me? Because I don't know what to do with it. I don't want to list it for sale. I try not to list anything counterfeit. I don't really know what I want to do with this. So if one of my viewers is watching this and you want to purchase this from me for a very, very, very low cost, just DM me on Instagram. Anyway, that was my fail from the thrift store. Don't be like me. Google your crap. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the video here. Make sure if you haven't clicked on Victoria's video link in my description box, you go ahead and do so. Go see what she got at the same thrift store I was at. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and hit the subscribe button if you wanna see more content from me in the future. I do upload very regularly. So I will see y'all in just a couple days for a new fun video. Bye, y'all.